A bonny fine maid of worthy degree, Matilda called by name, did live in the north of excellent worth, for she was a gallant dame. For favour of love and beauty most rare, Queen Helen she did excel. Few could surpass this country lass that did in the county dwell. As Robert was ranging in the earl's wood, he espied this pretty maid. Graceful her gait, and her body was straight, her countenance free from pride. Her eyebrows were black, and so was her hair, and her skin was as smooth as glass. Her visage spoke wisdom and modesty too, said Robin, oh, what a fine lass. Her gown was of cloth as green as the grass, and her buskin did reach to her knee. The cloth was homespun, but for colour and make it might have befitted a queen. But when she chanced him to see, she turned away her head. Oh, do not fly from me! Oh, fear me not, thou pretty maid. Then to her he doffed his cap, and to her he bended low, said, Robin, fair lady, oh, whither away? She made answer, to kill a fine doe. Said, Robin, lady, fair, wander with me a little to yonder green bower, then set down to rest you, and you shall be sure of a brace or a leash in an hour. And as they were going to the green bower, two hundred good bucks they espied. She chose out the fattest that was in the herd, and she shot him through side and side. By the faith of my body, said bold Robin Hood, I never saw a woman like thee. And comest thou from east or from west, thou needst not beg venison from me. Where dost thou dwell, my pretty maid? I prithee tell to me, and whither goest thou, pretty maid? May I thy true love be. Said she, O oh, tell me your name, gentle sir, and he said, Tis bold Robin Hood. My lady, wilt thou answer my request? Said Matilda, ask any you would. Said Robin, a question that every true man asks a woman once in her life. And, oh, how sweet it would be, if thou wouldst be my wife. This ring my mother gave to me, t'was her own betrothal ring. She prayed when with all my heart I loved a maid, pass it down her finger. Will you have it? Will you wear it? She blushed at the thought. Yet said, Yes, sir, thy true love I will be with all my heart. And let us be married as soon as may be, to the chapel they did pass. So Roger the priest bade them join hands, with a ring he joined them full fast. In loving content together they lived, many years in the north country good. For the people that live in the north can tell of Marion and bold Robin Hood.